My dad was an artist and life was great. Too good to be true, if I'm honest. But, and that would soon hold true when Hurricane Katrina hit in August of 2005 and I was really little. And life as we knew it was destroyed. And that was seemingly horrible, but really a blessing in disguise. Started with August 29th, 2005. Hurricane Katrina rolled in on the Gulf Coast and took everything I had but my life did spare my life as well as the lives of my children and for that I'll be forever grateful. But uh, it was definitely a, a life-changing experience to say the least. This is a, uh, a Murex pectin Venus and they're so fragile. They, they were so easily breakable, just little spines. And, and this was in a very similar um, display case down on the coast. And after Hurricane Katrina, the display case toppled everything in a big piled up mess, but yet unscathed, unbroke, all the, the combs still perfect. It's, it's just amazing to me that not only did it survive out of the ocean and into my seashell collection, but then it survived Hurricane Katrina as well. It's just amazing to me. In the high of the storm passed over us and for a moment you thought it was gonna be okay, but then you quickly realized that the, the gasoline in the water is burning your skin because there's so many cars and, and the gasoline rises to the top and and all you can see around you is water and treetops and a few pieces of roof sticking out. It's like, couldn't be more surreal. And just like that, the backside of the storm came and pushed all the water back out to sea as I guess the workings of a hurricane will do. And, and it wasn't long we were able to come down off the roof and stand in what used to be our life, which was really just a big pile of rubble now. But again, I am grateful that my life was spared and that my children's lives were spared and we had an opportunity to get a second chance. He said that there was almost something calling to him, telling him to stay. And after a few bumps in the road and some lessons learned, we made it to Mount Pleasant, Tennessee, and specifically the school and the stage. And not only did my dad see an opportunity for himself, but for me, he saw opportunities that he never had as a kid. And we built a life here. And now my dad is an artist, still. A loving partner. He provides for his family, but most importantly, he's my dad. Mm -hmm. 